a budget of $1,000, but faced with two amazing options, Jasmine and Nier. What would I do with that $1,000 in today's video? Let's find out. And to kick things off, I first want to talk about Nier because I do believe that the Nier protocol, meh, it's fundamentally fantastic. It's rock solid. That's what she said. I mean, you got to think about this, right? The Nier protocol utilizes sharding technology. And when I say sharding, I'm not talking about the caca in the pants. I'm not talking about the doo-doo in the underwear. I'm not saying that, right? This is sharding with a D, not a T, if you know what I mean. Now, through sharding, the network is split into multiple sections known as shards. And workload on the network is distributed amongst these different shards. Which again means that the near protocol as a result of this becomes highly scalable. It becomes just overall fundamentally fantastic. You know, that's how amazing Nier is, in my opinion. It's incroyable, as they say in France, or incredible in English. And keep in mind, on the Nier protocol, there's over 50 million unique addresses, and it even has been able to facilitate over 400 million transactions so far. I mean, God, I, boha, that's insane, man. I mean, that's ridiculous right there. I have to start speaking some Portuguese because that's how incredible it is. Much like my teeth. Take a look at this, and Wow. I mean, isn't that amazing? I now do want to take a look at Jasmine. Because Jasmine, man, the very premier project. First ever legally compliant cryptocurrency in the country of Japan. The team is filled with many executives who've had multiple years of work experience at Sony. So that's incredible. They're attempting to revolutionize the data storage market, which, by the way, could be worth nearly $800 billion by 2030. So that's ridiculous. And they're trying to revolutionize that through data democracy. Now, that's very fancy. But what that basically means is that Jasmine is looking to bring decentralization to the data storage market. Decentralization, in my opinion, of course, brings a lot of benefits to the data storage market because data storage nowadays primarily centralized. And who wants that, right? multiple single points of failures and usually controlled by you know a single entity no one wants that in my opinion jasmine steps in they're changing all of that because through decentralization you know these issues they're gone so when it comes to jasmine they have their priorities straight right they're legally compliant in japan again they're focused on an amazing market with amazing potential they're looking to change it right and also on top of that the team is a plus so really What's bad with Jasmine? Nothing. Now, a lot of people, they like to say, wow, it's caca, it's trash. It's like, what are they on about, man? You want to know something that's caca? That's BNB. Market cap is over $90 billion, way too high. What's the point in that? So again, when it comes to Jasmine, it's amazing in my opinion. However, we also have to take a look at the market cap because the market cap for near as of right now is around $7.6 billion. Jasmine is around $894 million. So Nier does have a way higher market cap, but this makes sense because on Nier, there's over 700 projects and over 200 applications as of right now. You know, it's just a lot more established. So the higher market cap makes sense. Now, Jasmine, it's not as established as something like Nier, but I do love its lower market cap because I do believe that it has potentially more room to grow at this point in terms of price increase. So when I take a look at these two options, what would I do with a budget of $1,000? I'm putting 80% of that, $800, into Jasmine and 20% of that, $200, into Near. And why is that? It's because even though the Near protocol is well established, even though it's fundamentally fantastic, utilizes sharding technology, again, just like I mentioned earlier on the video, even despite all that, its market cap as of right now can't be denied. It's pretty high. Of course, I'm going to be allocating more towards something which I believe has more room to grow at this point, which is Jasmine, which has a significantly lower market cap. Now, is Near a bad project? Absolutely not. It's amazing. But as of right now, again, right, Nier has grown up by a lot. So what is the way for me to not miss out on Nier, but at the same time allocate more towards something which I believe has more room to grow? And again, that is by doing an 80-20 split. Now, it doesn't matter the budget. This is what I would do. Even if it's not 1,000, 10,000, I'd say, I would still do an 80-20 split because I believe in both projects, but I do believe that Jasmine has more room to grow at this point. And if you want to know my price predictions for both Nier and Jasmine during this bull run, make sure to choose from either of these two videos right here. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and make sure to subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.